morning, it's Monday. Get to Tesco's early, I thought. Beat the rush, I thought. Hmm, I was wrong, wasn't I? <laughs> it's 25 past eight. I've just <laughs> been to Tesco's. Phew, that was um, busy, very busy. I only needed a few bits, so luckily I was pretty much in and out and I knew where everything was that I needed, but my goodness me, I couldn't have got it more wrong in terms of beating the rush. So, how are we all feeling? I won't lie to you, I am in feeling probably the lowest I felt, pretty much. <laughs> through this whole thing. Um, I just have a horrible pressing feeling of impending death. I'm, I should probably say at the outset, this is probably not going to be an uplifting pre-Christmas day in the life. So if you need cheering up, click off. This is not the video for you. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, I just feel a massive sense of impending doom. I've just, I'm having a complete news blackout again. I can't deal with anything on the news at all. And the plan for today is to just keep going, get through it. There's plenty I can be getting on with. Um, things to be grateful for today include, not that car alarm for a start. Things to be grateful for that I've got my husband and son and we are all relatively healthy. Um, grateful for my car so I can drive to the shops and not have to walk around in the rain. <sighs> I'm grateful not to have any immediate financial worries. That's really nice. Lots to be grateful for. <laughs> Roof over my head, you know, even just the very basic things that so many people don't have. So I definitely shouldn't be, you know, as down as I am. Anyway. Yeah, plan for today. Keep busy, get stuff done. Um, I popped in and saw William at about seven just before um, Ashley said he'd, um, Ashley said when he was up in the night that he'd seen William's light on. So I really hoped that he would be having a good night because he's uh, he was really poorly yesterday. Um, he, he said he thought he felt a little bit better, but he was still sort of half asleep. So fingers crossed that he's feeling better today. I'm really hoping that the antibiotics kick in um, today. By the way, I'm absolutely not advocating that anybody should self-medicate if they do not feel it's appropriate to do so or safe or whatever. Um, it's something that we are comfortable with as a family in terms of antibiotics. Um, so, and I know a lot of places around the world you can get my antibiotics across the counter, can't you? Can't in the UK, but um, anyway, yeah, so hopefully they will kick in and um, He'll be on the mend by this morning because his tonsils were so, so swollen yesterday. Just bless him. He really suffers with it. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to go and drop off my parcels now. And then I'm going to head home, unpack the shopping. I just bought a chicken to roast for tonight because Ashley fancied a just nice simple roast chicken meal and hopefully that will be nice for will as well with some vegetables and stuff well we can still get vegetables and they're not stopped to stop from coming in from the continent of course oh the irony um <laughs> right i'm going i'll catch up with you in a bit right i quite often start a clip with right don't i it's just after 12 and i have had quite a nice morning got some work bits and pieces sorted out and i've also had a video chat with a friend in grace so it's lovely to chat to him they've been in full-on lockdown since end of october i think um their case is skyrocketed and their lockdown is quite a lot more stringent than ours they um have to get uh, they have to message get a text message thing if they want to leave their houses at all and um, they said they're going to be in lockdown till the 20th of January so they've got far less cases than us about 800 a day at the moment I believe but it was lovely to catch up with him anyway and chat that was very nice indeed enjoyed it had a cup of coffee um, I'm gonna make some sausage rolls now some Christmas sausage rolls that's my plan for the next little while Will's feeling a lot better 
which is good. Not mended yet, but certainly a lot better. So that's good news. I'm pleased about that. And I might give my mum a ring as well and have a chat with her. That's what's going on at Matthew's Towers right now. Sausage rolls are in the oven. Far more than I'll probably need now, but hey, they needed to be made, so they can always go in the freezer, can't they? Right, just want to share with you. I'm just reviewing comments on today's video, which was the one in which I talked about us all. <laughs> or the lack of ability, it seems, of people to respect other people's opinions, even though they're different. And of course, the vast majority of you agree and say, yes, we're all adults, we should agree, you know, agree to disagree, it's fine, people can have other opinions. Unfortunately, it seems that the people with the opposite opinions feel the need to not respect so here's an example. This comment is not going to get through review, but and I'm not even going to read it all to you because it's just a mad rant. But here we are. Bearing in mind, I've just made that video and said that we should all have... It's just ridiculous. When are people going to realise it is not about a virus? You're willing to take a vaccine that hasn't had the usual 10-year trial to make it safe for starters. Um, you are fooled by propaganda and willing to be guinea pigs. Outrageous. I mean, just going to enjoy putting that in the bin. Goodbye. Gone. But <laughs> it's just, you know, you do you. If you don't want to have a vaccine, if you don't want to be positive about it, if that's what you want to believe, go ahead. I don't want to stop you. I don't want to stop you. But you need to respect my views as well. You, you need to accept that we can have different views. How, how can it be so hard to understand that? Or, or is it just that the type of person who has the opposite opinion on this subject to the one that I have is the type of person that absolutely doesn't respect other people's views and feels the need to tell them how wrong they are. You know, it's 25 to three. I don't know where the day's gone really. Um, yes, I really don't. I have decided, my lovely people, that today is going to be the last Vlogmas video from me. Um, it, I'm struggling a little bit, if I'm honest, just with, yeah, life. 2020, 2020. <laughs> um, I don't feel particularly, I'm struggling to pick up the camera the last couple of days and talk and I think I'm just a little bit burnt out with it. Um, the Saturday's news has um, probably hit us all hard, hasn't it? And um, it has changed things not in a good way for all of us. Um, some of us more than others. I appreciate that obviously we are still in tier two down here, but it is what it is and it will all be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, not the end, is it? But yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I'm adding <laughs> any joy to anybody's day by filming while I'm like this. So I'm going to sign off until after Christmas at the end of today and I'm going to, I'll see you. There is a video set to go, a uh, um, fashion video um, between Christmas and New Year, so you'll see that. That's all pre-filmed and scheduled. And um, yeah, I'll be back after that with, let's hope 2021 is gonna be a better year for us all. I will keep all the advent calendar things to show you, and I think by the end of today, I'll be three, charity donations adrift from the end I will of course um, do those and tell you about them in my next video when I do pick up the um, camera again to start filming again but I just need a little bit of a break and to regroup and to digest this latest round of news and to crack on I guess so yeah Anyway, it's 25 to 3. I've baked two dozen sausage rolls. So that will be plenty for the whole of Christmas, won't it? And uh, William, I just tried one for lunch, actually, and they were very tasty. 
I did them with chestnuts and cranberries and a little bit of extra mature cheddar cheese and sausage meat and they were good um yeah I'm now going to go and watch something uplifting like do a bit more olympics I'm still still working my way through the olympics dvds so I'm very much enjoying those right today's advent calendar is had a space mask in it somebody recommended these in my comments so I'm quite interested to try it it says I am a self-heating eye mask with a soothing jasmine scent. That sounds nice, doesn't it? I gift you with 15 minutes of blissful calm on a busy or stressful day. I'm packed into a pocket-sized pouch so you can take me anywhere. 15 minutes of calm here. 15 minutes or 15 seconds? Allegedly 15 minutes. We shall see. I think it might take more than a space mask to um, gift me with 15 minutes of calm and relaxation currently. <laughs> Um, disappointing value wise because a five pack of them appears to be 15 quid so that's three pounds worth um, which does seem a bit mean doesn't it yeah not impressed by that at all but you never know perhaps it will do what it says on the packet let's hope so eh tonight under here we have sweet honeycomb just to make the bedroom smell nice Got chicken roasting in the oven. I've got some stuffing, roast potatoes, some cavolo nero, which is basically pos posh cabbage, isn't it? Mm. And some carrots and some roast potatoes. Um, I am going to go and sit down in front of the telly. Let me just pop you up there a minute. I'll put some lip cells on. Oh, wrong light. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit down in front of the telly and have a very veggie evening because that's what I feel like doing. And I'm going to make a little bit of a plan for tomorrow so I've got some stuff to do. Also, Ashley just bought me this epic Christmas card. How cool is this? Look, I've got to show you. Oh, stop moving! You're welcome. Good morning. It's now. Sorry, my phone just buzzed at me. Um, good morning. It's now Tuesday. God, it's only Tuesday and I've already lost track of what day it is. That doesn't bode well for the rest of the week, does it? Let's see if I can balance that. We're going to the kitchen. Woken up in a better frame of mind today. Had a good night's sleep again. That's two good. That's three good nights sleep in a row. That's unheard of. Did you have a good night's sleep, Mr. Matthews? Fabulous. <laughs> Slightly over-enthusiastic. Um, he's off work today. Oh, so, okay. so standard, he's off work, sat at the dining room table working, rather than in his office working. Anyway, I thought I'd run the vlog a little bit into today so we could do another charity donation, another advent calendar, and have a final chat about Vlogmas. Yes? The hiding things gods are playing ball with me today. The booker's <laughs> card was exactly where it should be. You realise that the hiding things gods are only you, don't you? No. <laughs> Little elves come at night time when you're Lies. asleep and hide all Lies. your things. Hide all your stuff. What would I want with your booker's card, for heaven's sake? So, this is today's advent calendar. Votary is a black brand. Oh God, my glasses are steaming up now. Heavens. Votary is a brand that I have heard of but never tried. It's meant to be very nice. I've heard good things about it. This is the Super Seed Serum with Broccoli Seed and Peptides. Broccoli Seed. Now there's an ingredient that I've never heard of in skincare. It is 50 mils in size, so it is a full size one. And I did have a little sniff of this earlier and tried it out. It's a lovely... Um, it's a lovely texture, it feels very nice. The smell 
not so much. I mean, it's not as bad as Lizelle, Cle is it the Lizelle? No, it's Eve Long cleansing balm. It's not as bad as that. But it smells, how can I put this? It smells like it would be very good for you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not pleasant, but probably doing you the world of good. So I'll definitely use it anyway. But um, it says, I am a natural remedy that soothes, hydrates, nourishes and protects sensitive skin. My antioxidant, broccoli seed and powerful peptides support the skin's microbiome. I thought a microbiome biome biome was one of those things that they had at the eden project those big plastic houses who knows um twice daily gently press one pump into skin to counteract redness and irritation well i don't have a lot of redness and irritation but i'm sure it must do me the power of good anyway so i will definitely try it and value wise this to buy is 75 english pounds expensive so that's a good one there's three more to go. There's 23, 24 and 25, which I will share with you after Christmas when I do another vlog at some point. Why are my glasses steaming up so badly? I did try, some of you suggested um, covering them with washing up liquid, dish soap, as you call it in America, I think, and then washing it off thoroughly, which I have done. And I'm sad to say it's made absolutely no difference at all. If anything, they're worse. Um, my new glasses aren't as bad. And I'm wondering, these are my old glasses. I use these, I've got new glasses for reading. I use these ones for the computer, although I tend to reach for these because I'm always in front of the computer and tend to just have them on and to hand. But um, what I think is interesting is when I got my new glasses, they, you know, they try to upsell you on, oh, you need this lens and that other thing and blah de blah And these ones had can't remember what they called it, like anti-glare or um, something or other like that, which they said to me, you de when I got, these were my first glasses, and when I got them, they said, oh, you definitely need to have anti-glare. You really must have anti-glare. It's absolutely important. So it was about another 40 quid or something. So I had it. And then when I got my new ones, they said again, oh, you need the anti-glare thing. And I said, do you know what? What does it actually do? And they couldn't really tell me what benefit I was going to get from it. So I decided not to have it. And I thought, oh, that will come back to bite me in the bum. I'll regret that. But honestly, it's made absolutely no difference. I couldn't tell the difference apart from they don't steam up as much as these ones. So I wonder if the anti-glare thing makes them more prone to steaming up. That's an interesting thought and one that's only just crossed my mind. But um, I wonder if that's the case. That's interesting. Right. Anyway, today, what are we doing today? I'm gonna finish off this video in a minute and then edit it and upload it. I've already done several little jobs that um, I was wanting to get done. Um, I think Ashley and I are going out to do a little bit of food shopping. We've done most of it now, but just a little bit left to do. I'm going to make some stock out of last night's roast chicken and make a chicken soup, chicken and vegetable soup. Um, what else am I going to do? I don't know. Might watch some more Olympics because I didn't get around to doing that yesterday. I started a new series yesterday, which I think some of you guys recommended. Um, this is us on Amazon Prime. There's six series of it, so plenty to watch to keep me busy over this strange, strange Christmas. Right, last clip of Vlogmas 2020. Two more charities to do. Glasses required. Been a lot of chat about glasses in Vlogmas this year, I feel. Um, first one is from Claire Collins who says she would like to nominate a cancer charity. I had leukemia when I was young and my mum had breast cancer and two of my cousins and we are all okay. Very happy to be ending Vlogmas with a cancer charity. Um, I think when you get to our age there's very few families that haven't been touched by cancer in some way and my father-in-law died of cancer about 10 years ago and as you know or longer term viewers will know because I made a video about it my best friend died of cancer when she and I were both 16 and um, yeah terrible disease cancer I'm going to donate to cancer research I had a direct debit to cancer research for many many years and I will enjoy 
donating to them again um, so thank you for that nomination Claire and the final one is Helen Christian who says my nomination is a lovely small charity in West Lancashire called Twinkle House they provide sensory services to children and adults with special needs and have worked hard to encompass mental health support to those who need it during the pandemic and my goodness yes mental health during the pandemic um, I think it's going to be another pandemic at the end of the current pandemic, to be honest. I think we all feel a little bit tattered coming out of the end, end of this year, don't we? And it's easy to see how if you are, you know, if you had emotional and mental issues anyway prior to this, how much this would have exacerbated them. Um, yeah. So I will very happily donate to them as well. Helen, thank you again. Um, right, that's it. Let's wrap it up for 2020 then. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for every single like, every single comment. Um, you've all been so supportive and lovely during Vlogmas and it's been an absolute privilege to have been part of this community that we have built here on YouTube. Um, I always feel a little bit emotional at the end of Vlogmas, every single time, it's not just this year. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all very much. I will be back next week with um, various different things. I have plans for the new year already for YouTube, which I will share with you in due course. And all that is left to say is please have as good a Christmas as you can. Stay safe, everybody. There's a light at the end of the tunnel now. Hopefully this time next year, things will look very different. Let's hang on to that hope. Stay safe. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.